Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spandex channel. And in our today's video, we will simulate the pressure swing distillation column using S1 Plus. This is the part of assignment which I had given to my students, and obviously they have solved that and presented as well, which was a, a very very good activity. And now I am presenting myself that activity for my valuable viewers of YouTube. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. So in the pressure swing distillation, the name reflects that it is the pressure swing means there will be two columns which have different pressure. So this is the column number one, which is LP column, which operates at low pressure. And this is the HP column, high pressure column. And between these columns, pump is used to provide the distillate to the second column and accordingly the top product is recycled and mixed with this feed and accordingly the mixed feed is fed to this column. This is the overall configuration of the pressure swing distillation and our objective is to design the pressure swing distillation to separate the mixture of ethanol water and the operational condition of the column and compressor pump are presented in table number two. So let's quickly go to S1 plus and first build the process diagram and then providing the conditions so we will first select the components the component is ethanol and water and the property package which we are selecting is nrtl click on this next then click on this one and once results are available go to the simulation environment now we have two columns in the system which both of these are red flag so we will install these columns as HP column as B2 and LP column and let's name it as LPC low pressure column and HPC high pressure column. Then there is a mixer which will be used to mix the feed and the recycle stream. We will first simulate the process before the recycle. Then the stream is sent to the low pressure column. Since the pump is installed between these, so the product, the distillate is, will be in liquid phase if that is the compressor over here then it will be in the vapor phase and accordingly the connections have been made for both the products then a pump is installed pressure changers the pump is placed over here double click on it use it and then the pump and accordingly this is the recycle stream and this one would be the bottom stream of HP column so click on this to see the optimized view now the feed is entering this column the top product s3 which is going out of this column is pumped to the second column the top product is recycled while the bottom product contains our product so let's quickly add the stream specification and in the specification the temperature of the feed Mixture is 65 degrees centigrade, the pressure is 1.5 bar, the mass flow rate is 24,000 kg per hour with mole fraction of ethanol as 0.2 and water as 0.8. Going to the column number 1 and giving the specification as number of stages 28, condenser type as total, distillate to feed ratio 0.2 while the reflux ratio as 4. Then going to the streams, the 27th stage is selected, going to this pressure. The top stage pressure is 0.1 bar while the stage pressure drop is 2 inches of water. And the azeotropic as convergence is selected for the LP column. Going to the HP column specification, 49th number of stages, partial vapor as the distillate, azeotropic convergence, distillate to feed ratio 0.5 while reflux ratio as 5. Going to the stream, the stream number is, feed stream is 22. Then the condenser pressure is 20 bar while that of the stage pressure drop is 2 inches of water. Going to the pump and the discharge pressure is 22 bar with efficiency as 0.72. Now once you have given the, all the specifications, the required input is complete. So click on this run to get the results and now results are available. So once you go to this LP column results, you can see that in LP column 90.3391% ethanol is obtained from the top product 
while 97.58 percent water is obtained from the bottom product and similarly going to this hp column 83.131 percent ethanol is obtained from the top while 97.54 percent ethanol is obtained from the bottom now what we need to do we need to complete the recycle process because this process is currently without the recycle so click on this stream connected with the mixer obviously the alignment can be made as well but i am currently leaving it and then click on this reset and click on this run to get the results and now results are available now go to this lp column and see that the water purity has decreased here it was earlier 97.5 percent while here you can see the ethanol purity has a bit difference here as well so now once this overall system has converged we have to now meet our design specifications and the design specifications say that we need 90 mole percent ethanol and 90 mole percent recovery of ethanol in the distillate in the lp column and while 99 mole percent ethanol in bottom and 80 mole percent ethanol in the distillate of hp column so now what we need to do we need to apply the design spec and vary the variables which have been specified as the operating variables in both columns so before applying the design spec i have renamed all the streams to apply these design specs in an easier way now going to this lp column named as lpc into the specification design specification click on this new and our first requirement is the mole purity of ethanol as 0.9 which is the component ethanol in the top product and the second design spec is the mole recovery of 0.9 of ethanol which is 0.9 selected over here in components it is ethanol and top product and what we need to vary click on this new and the flux ratio in range of 1 to 10 then click on this new slate to field ratio is selected over here 0.01 to 1 and now click on this reset and run and you will see that you have obtained your desired results instead going to the stream results you can go to the specification summary you can see the target value is 0.9 while the calculated value is 0.9 for both now going to this hp column and the two design specifications here are that the mole purity of ethanol as 0.8 in the component ethanol in the top product which is top 2 while mole purity of 0.99 of ethanol in the bottom product which is btm2 once you have labeled it properly then it is easier to apply the design spec and without going to the flow sheet continuously so display to feed ratio 0.01 to 1 this value can never be greater than 1 it's a ratio and accordingly the reflux ratio and it is 0.01 to 20 so now click on this reset again run and you will see the results are now again available and going to the specification summary you will see that specification given was 0.8 the calculated value is pointed while the error is in minus 13 e raised for minus 13 so very very small error has been obtained from the system so that's how you design a pressure swing distillation column in s plus it can be further extended to column sizing and rating and so on but i will leave this part to you for your own practice and so on so that's it from this lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned for more exciting videos